All right. Hello, hello. everyone. Hello, hello. We're this back. is uh, Laura Lee Mystica. Uh, and, yes, and Daniel Flower Green. <laughs> you guys can find all of our websites and information in the links below. Mm -hmm. So it's all and there for you. If you like this, please tell us. And if you don't, I guess you can tell us that too. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you give a light, nice long list of why you don't like it. Exactly. Ladies. Exactly. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Like, um, they're dumb. They're, they're, they're evil. You know, I don't they're know, evil. Whatever. They're psycho. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we have scary eyes this time. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, think that. <laughs> uh, we'll think, if oh. you guys think we're psycho, wait until we start talking about oh, aliens. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and <laughs> magic. That's and our magic. topic for today. Magic. Yep, yep, yeah. For the last couple of weeks, the topic of magic has been coming up a lot a in lot. my circles and your circles, and just a lot of people are asking what magic is. A lot of people are demonizing it. You know, they have different definitions of what magic is. So we wanted to share Laura Lee's definition of magic and uh, what we think about magic, yeah. because I feel like that'll help to clarify it for a lot of people. You know. Um, and it's just important well, it clarified information. it for me. I didn't, I didn't know until Hal told me about this. Uh, and it's important to know because we really are taught that magic is evil. So all magic it, everywhere a, is evil. All magic everywhere is evil. So yeah. So go ahead and uh, the so only this thing is. That it's going through my head right now. Is that song? You believe in magic? <laughs> like yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So this excerpt that we're going to read for you guys is in which Cryogenetics book? Cryogenetics 2. Cryogenetics 2. Yes, it is, because we just, yeah. So it's in Cryogenetics 2, and um, it was, it had been coming for a long time, but it, it was put all together in um, 2009 in September. September 6th, to be, <laughs> to be accurate. Okay, so this is the bottom line. What is magic? The ability to create and make the outcomes you desire. That's it. That's point blank. That is point what blank. magic that is. That is what that magic is. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, for people that are um, doing positive affirmations, what are you doing? People who are in church praying for their loved ones. Yes. What are what you are doing? You doing? You're... you're trying to create an outcome that you mm -hmm. desire. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, you don't have to be standing around a kettle <laughs> in the forest putting frogs in your <laughs> pot. Mud painted all yes, over your face, your face, antlers in your, yeah, yeah. Blood all yeah. over. No, yeah. no, that, that's, that's... Not, that's not how you do it. You, yeah. It's one way to do it, but you it's can. it's not... <laughs> It's not the It's definition. not practical and yeah. you know it's yeah yeah. So yeah. Okay. so okay. So then we have the original version and the corrupted version and mostly what we know here is the corrupted version. Mm -hmm. So original version rules are using the benevolent powers within to create or cause a desired effect through the collaboration of natural laws. This includes the law of code. Okay, so we're talking here magic and technology. Okay, mm -hmm. the, the, the original version had both. Uh, the law of code. It is a science. It is. In, in other words, it is a science. Yep. Which is the writing and rewriting of the code for this hologram also known as this holographic universe, can be amplified by collaborating with other magicians. Now that's how it originally was. And doesn't that sound nice? That sounds like mm -hmm. really cool. So you can, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I wanna create a new flying object that I can ride to work in. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the broom? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 that, could be one. that could be one if you have the right codes to, to do it it's all magnetics right it's it, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so <laughs> so the thing is you it it it's just creation 
it's like mm -hmm. it's like the rules of creation mm -hmm. and how is that bad unless you create crappy things okay so mm -hmm. here's the corrupted version this is what everybody mm -hmm. thinks about and this is how that one goes the corruption version rules of which we have been subjected to here on earth and throughout the hologram so of course that's what people think because that's all they know mm -hmm. Okay, number one, what you put out comes back times three, but may be reversed <clears throat> or manipulated if you know how. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this law, you know, if you put out good things, you get it times three. If you put it out bad times, times three. But what they're doing is saying, oh, no, 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 no. Um, we're manipulating this, so all you get is crap. And one way that they unless, will do unless that, you're, uh, unless you're a nasty person, unless you're, you're a nasty a person, and one way the nasty people get around that is by making other people do the magic for them, and they're pretty much teaching people, oh yeah, no, do this, it's safe, don't don't worry, we'll, we'll back you up, and then yeah, 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 and then who gets the karma for it? The one that <laughs> yeah, does it, exactly. Uh, but however, that is changing. You know, if you let Lady Karma and Lady Justice know, hey, something funky is going on here you know, go up the food chain and figure out where this all started and give them their karma. Yeah, find the boss. They will. Mm -hmm. They will. They're, yeah. Find the one that, that gave out those orders. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. The more corrupted you are, the better magic works. Is that mm -hmm. not how it is now? Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. Um, and yeah. the more corrupted the wish, the quicker it manifests. Hence, mm -hmm. why we use the skank altar to outwit corruption. Mm -hmm. which the skank altar is a part of proper magic you know if, if you're right. doing it right it is a part of proper magic and, so. and that is mm -hmm. in cryogenetics too yes correct yeah. Yeah, I think so. and i think yeah. it's on your website too it's on yes. uh, firstwaveindigos.com yes. yeah correct yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay now the third one is corrupted magic works better for selfish personal gain especially if others are hurt because of it Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What a sick system. I mean, no wonders. And this whole, this whole planet, this, most of the universe is being run on corrupted magic because, oh, let's see, that's how the D-Monster um, re revised everything when she got in here. Yeah, and, you know, uh, we heard a phrase recently from someone, um, they had, uh, they knew someone that was in one of the dark occult groups and that person was literally told if you're not sitting at the table you're on the menu that is literally That's tying in with work. that it's a dog eat dog world mm -hmm. right doesn't have to be that that is part of corrupted magic as well sorry right. go ahead no no that, that's that's really good um corrupted magic and spells come with a high price but only for benevolent people sometimes they get the opposite of what they ask for it's a crapshoot mm -hmm. and i would say any magic or spells you know unless you have those force agreements dealt with uh, any magic or spells uh, any benevolent person that'll do it is likely to get the opposite of what they asked for oh until and then, they... i tell you i got the opposite mm -hmm. so many times i thought what's the mm -hmm. matter with me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. joe blow over here all he has to do is ask and poof he gets it i ask and i i get the opposite i get crap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and so you start thinking there's something wrong with you it's like what the hell's the matter with me why why can't i do a simple mm -hmm. sim uh, you know it must be my karma i must deserve <laughs> this as you're out there helping oh, people man. all day every day and, yeah and no, you cannot imagine it's... the amount of um mind over matter things i have done i used to sell Success Motivation Institute back in the 90s and or not 90s it was in the 80s and I was always you know into that and, and it, it just didn't me. work for oh, you man I I was so financial <laughs> I was I was in the poor house like most most of my life mm -hmm. since then so yeah that worked real well okay um Nice people innocently use magic through their words and emotions, and 90% of the time has a bad outcome. Okay, so you can you can say, I hate you, I, I hope you get in a car wreck and boop. Somebody could do that. Mm -hmm. Have you 
Yeah, yeah. Or if you have a positive intention even and you're saying, oh, bless you. And then all of a sudden they have issues. Yeah, uh, I think which goes I, back to our <laughs> previous videos about I, I, the word I need blessing. I to go back but, and restate what, uh, what I said. I, I didn't mean mm -hmm. to no. Um, innocent people might say, strike the car wreck thing, okay? I, I was thinking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. evil people doing that. What a, a nice person would say is, um, oh, I hope I don't get in a wreck. And, and then, then they get yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I hope that you're safe, you know, safe travels, and yeah. then the and car, then it, yeah, it yeah. Does, yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Flat tires, say. okay. you know, whatever, you know, the exactly the, the trip that was supposed to go well did not go well. Exactly. That, that, that's what you're getting at. Okay, okay, yep, yep. Um, so, um, <laughs> well, and emotion back things like, um, if someone. has an obsessive love for someone else they can it will they can almost put a spell on the other person mm -hmm. okay that, that's what i'm trying to so so it just gets really messed up okay pretty much if you have positive intentions and you're a benevolent person it'll most likely backlash in some way it'll most likely fall back uh, that, this is and again this is, this is the corrupted version this, this is, is how it's, this version. is how it's been it's but not, we're changing it's it. not com so yeah. us and a lot of other people out there are changing this mm -hmm. okay so it's not like this as much yeah anymore. as much no it, it's, it's a little better it's still, yeah, yeah it's, it's a little it's still, better yeah it's not as um it's not like you're you're blindfolded and you're gagged and you're tied up anymore it's like mm -hmm. maybe maybe you're just one hand is tied and <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you have half a blindfold on <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah. Getting, we're getting we're getting there, there. we're getting there <laughs> okay corrupted magic picks and chooses what it manifests and the wealthy get the first pick oh boy <laughs> for the rest of the people even nice words and emotions can get twisted and turned turned out bad and misconstrued how many times do you say to somebody oh i i just i just love love your coat or your hair or something and they're like you're making fun of me. <laughs> you like, say no, like my really? shirt, is there a hole somewhere? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times people, you know, you'll say one thing and they'll take it the exact opposite. And you're like, how did you get that from what I said? I did not mean that at all. Have mm -hmm. you had that happen? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, using corrupted magic, energy, and magnetics that's what corrupted magic is okay you can force your will or desired outcome on other people animals plants insects things and events or gain power and possession by stealing energy and life force from others this includes blood rituals enslaving and torturing others to use and consume their intense extreme loose and pheromones mm, num, num. <laughs> which creates powerful conductivity and amplification for your own will and desired outcomes okay that's how they create they loose isn't their just their food it helps them do magic it, it's so it's for a, a normal person this is it wouldn't make sense. It doesn't make it, sense. It's, it makes yeah. no sense. It's, it's like absolutely senseless. So it's really hard like, to Like, oh, no one would ever do that. Yeah. How, how could anyone do that? Yeah. Okay. Just be glad. If you do think that way, be glad that you have, because that means that you're most likely not one of these you're people. You're not an asshole. Yeah. 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 If, if, you, if you worry about, oh, am I a bad person? Then you're not an asshole. They don't worry. They don't care. Yeah, they, they hope don't they care. are. <laughs> and most people don't even know about this kind of thing until they've experienced it. You that's know, unless true. it's backlashed on that's them or they've true. gotten hurt from it in some degree. That's uh, that's, that's why we know about it because it's oh, been in our it's face. Been in our face. Uh, and, yeah. And down our legs and on our feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More weird shit symptoms. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Okay, number C, rewriting code into the hologram for personal gain and power or forcing the code writers to do it for you. Mm -hmm. And this, 
I'm not kidding about this. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. There are code writers for this hologram. We are in a hologram. And mm -hmm. so, of course, there'd have to be somebody writing the code for it. Mm -hmm. And they have had the, the main code writer for this hologram was incarcerated in Regis County a mm -hmm. few months ago. Was it a few months ago? Yeah, I think you found him early summer. And it's mid-October now, yeah. so it would it or, would have been. Or mid, I think it was in the middle of summer, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. He's been rescued. He's, he's been rescued. <laughs> You're asking um, me about time. Times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then we found that, that something was on him again. Oh, oh and he yeah, had he had imposters. Lot, he mm -hmm. has a lot of yeah of mm -hmm. imposters. Yeah. A lot of did did, did, uh, did. we yeah. took out all of them to date? You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah it's always good to you know whenever you're working with any guide or anything always always verify you know original authentic uncorrupted you can even add uncorruptible i like so that. and we're, so we're gonna have to mm -hmm. start putting yeah yeah in yeah there. and yeah. it's like legal it's like legal paperwork you know once you have something written out eventually someone will find a loophole for it and then you have to add something else to really verify and be like no this is this is what i'm asking for sorry that's a bit of a tangent on the side but important information still nonetheless okay so so i'm getting we can say his name what do you think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i call him my mark m-m-a-r-c mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark, okay, or mm -hmm. Master Magician and, and Reset Coder. Reset coder. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's like he, he's resetter and a coder, so he can mm -hmm. reset things and then put the codes on it mm -hmm. or, or create new codes. Mm -hmm. He's the master code writer mm -hmm. and magician. So and he's, magician. He's, he's got, got both of both. the. He's mm -hmm. got two and one, not this. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, He's like this with the, the code writing and uh, the magic. You yeah, know, they're... yeah. They're, they're tied together. They work together. Um, now, one thing I did want to say uh, on this as well is uh, blood magic. Yes. Let's talk about that for a second here. Uh, there is a safe and proper way to do blood magic. If it's your own blood and you're giving it willingly, that is different than going and forcing someone else into it Stabbing right like them, uh -huh. getting their blood mm -hmm. because there there's mm -hmm. life force in blood mm -hmm. and so um like in cryogenetics one you talk about starfire which yes, is menstrual blood menstrual blood uh it is a very potent magic and it can be used and properly it can, be, it can um but yeah if you're taking it from someone else in any capacity you know if you're uh taking their blood especially without their permission if you're oh, doing exactly. it without their permission, exactly. there is no, that is 100% that, that, corrupted. That's, that is, that's, that's an absolute no no. Mm -hmm. And that's what all of the Dark Lord whatevers, that, mm -hmm. that's how they that's do it. That's what they do. That's what they do. You know, you're literal, politicians. Literal I'm talking sacrifices. about Dark Lords. I'm talking mm -hmm. about politicians and people mm -hmm. in charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. just saying. Yeah. And then the yeah. ones off planet and stuff. Mm -hmm. too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Okay, so now how to bring back the original authentic magic. Yes, the important part. Well, another important yes, part. Yes. <laughs> another important part. <laughs> um, number one, use the cryogenetics egg as a safe haven for conducting magic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really important so you don't get messed mm -hmm. with while you're doing yeah. it. Yeah, now a lot of people when they get into Wicca or ceremonial magic, they will be taught to construct a magic circle. That's not the same. Not, it's not, the not same. even close. Um, so when I first started using the rocks and eggs, mm -hmm. I would do the circle first and then I'd put the circle in an egg. So that way it was like, you know, it, yeah, because I was still learning, you know, well, you can still um, do a circle, but put your mm -hmm. egg over it. Don't yeah. just use the yeah. circle. The circle by itself isn't mm -hmm. going to be the protective. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not uh, impermeable. Yeah. To whereas the eggs, they will keep out anything that's not supposed to be there. Uh, now, if you need something to come in for you to learn from it, it'll let it in. Otherwise, it keeps everything exactly. out. And, so. and that, that's important to know is that mm -hmm. when you're properly egged. Mm -hmm. With the original, authentic, authentic uncorrupted, cryogenetics, cryogenetics badass egg. egg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know. It's a well, mouthful. you get that one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, the short acronym is Oak Bay. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Original, okay. authentic, right. cryogenetics, badass yeah. egg. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> 
uh, from one of our HRT friends. Yeah. Uh, he, he knows says, who he oh, is. Oh, guess yeah. what? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. He might forget, but I'll remind you if you ask. So, <laughs> so, um, so with the I was going to say something. And now, I've been flatlining a lot. Yeah. So when you use the eggs and the rocks, not only will it give you a safe haven, but you can also have those rocks clear you up and to make sure that your intention and how you're doing your magic is really appropriate. Um, and, you know, if you're trying to do something uncorrupted, the egg will neutralize it and give you karma for it. So, you know, it really doesn't only protect you, but it can protect other innocent people who could be negatively impacted exactly. by this. Exactly. And that's what I would, I, I remember, I, I yeah. unflatlined. I'm, I'm beeping again now. So, <laughs> Go ahead. So what I was going to say is, if something, if you egg and maybe you fall down and, you know, break your toe or something um you like well i that shouldn't have happened because i, I was in the egg well maybe you would have fallen down and broken your head mm -hmm. you know so so kind of look look you know step back and look at it and say okay it could have been worse mm -hmm. um i know sometimes i almost got in an auto accident or something was not as bad as what it could have been so kind of look at that aspect of it too. Yeah, and one thing that I've had happen, sorry, but before okay. you continue on the yeah, list yeah, here, right, right, right. one thing that I've had happen too is I'll do like the spiral curse reversal ceremony, I'll be completely egged up, and then as I'm walking outside to go and drop, drop off the ashes uh -huh. and go blow it into the wind, I'll see people standing in the house watching me. And a lot of times when that happens, you know, at first I would get kind of freaked out. I was like, oh, the eggs aren't working. And then I realized they can't see me. They're trying to see what I'm doing. They're trying to stop like, there's me. There's something but in they there, can't but I can't. In. It's like they so, can't. Yeah, it's like you're a mm -hmm. you're you're mm -hmm. a mission. You know how when they blank out people's faces, in, mm -hmm. you're blurred in videos, out. You're yeah. blurred out. Yeah, yeah. And, and so and now what I do. So now the last time that happened, I egged all of them and had the eggs put them in quarantine and go through cosmic recycling bin mode and they were all taken out apparently there was nothing good to them yep i haven't had it happen since so if well, some, we had something if some happen weird... last night well yeah but we weren't doing spiral cruise oh no right right, know, right 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 so, we were yeah, doing yeah. like serious weird <laughs> shit. we were doing some serious weird shit that also had to do with magic um but yeah, maybe but that's yeah, a topic a for another day yeah, just be because topic. yeah but yeah. there was some high level assholes we were dealing with them. high ceremonial magic practitioners that have had their knowledge brought down through the ages through the ages a lot of them had lineage going back to atlantis you know the, the group in particular that was impacting us but you know it's you know <laughs> yes we are that badass and so are you remember don't be fierce bitch make exactly. fear your bitch exactly. okay so and that's what we did last night and that's what we, we did were last laughing night our tails they were up, trying and to freak us out annoying them yeah yeah they, they yeah, were really yeah, upset yeah, that we yeah. were laughing instead of being scared <laughs> <laughs> and that just made us laugh more <laughs> okay okay so, yes okay okay so here we ne go next part in the list okay, I think. so cancel yeah. or take to zero and override all corrupted mm -hmm. imposed rules you have been subjected to and the best way to do that i think is with a spiral ceremony mm -hmm. it really is it really is it's safe it's effective and not only will it help you create your reality but it also gets that emotion out of you too and it helps the you to really stuff, get into that practical like yeah yeah it helps you rewrite your reality and you you have mm -hmm. to cancel a lot of that out or you can't go forward you know if you get all these stumbling blocks in mm -hmm. front of you 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 can't mm -hmm. get your car moving forward so you gotta yeah you can light all out. the candles you want you can use all the incense and herbs you want but until you clear out those old patterns and, and the old magic that's and the old on magic. you you know yeah. if somebody's got a curse on you mm -hmm. um it's really hard to go forward until you get rid of that curse yeah so one of the best ways to start bringing back the original authentic magic you know uh is to take it back is to rewrite it and to use these spirals to undo that negative magic and, and evil then, magic that has been done on you and, and then the rewrite it because that's part and of rewrite the, it. the ceremony mm -hmm. is to overwrite mm -hmm. the program mm -hmm. so you, you you clean it out you get rid of it and then you overwrite it 
Mm -hmm. And didn't we do one on spirals? I yes, we did. We did. We did. We did. Okay. So yes. go back to that. So one. go back to that video. <laughs> yes, yes. Or okay. better yet, go on to her websites, get one of her books, and it has it all laid out, and you can and even do it. That's right. There you go. <laughs> okay. Number two on the, the good, the bringing the good magic back is operate from purity, love, integrity, and honor when creating magic. magic. Energy can be calm and serene or extremely confident, forceful, and passionate. Mm -hmm. So it works both ways. You, you can do it when you're just pure and calm mm -hmm. and just put this, this mm -hmm. calm. Um, like it, music, it, just yeah, and, fluttering and it kind out. Of, um, it kind of just uh, <laughs> neutralizes crap around you. And then if something has to happen now, mm -hmm. you put more force in it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you just decide what you need and when, okay? Okay, and the next one is manifest what you want with magic as long as you are not operating out of ego, mm -hmm. okay? So you gotta like do a check. Am I operating out of ego in here? What is my real reason for wanting yeah. what I want? Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, align with the greater good, truth, and justice operate from a win-win, not a lose-lose, win-lose attitude. Unless it's the Dark Lords. <laughs> I was just worried to say. <laughs> Unless they've deserved it. Yeah, Which, you right. know, you let the rocks and the eggs figure that figure out, right? That but, out. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, this is the big one. Remember, magic corrupted this hologram, and magic can eliminate that, pro that corruption. Mm -hmm. So if we just have a bunch of people just sitting on their hands and doing nothing, it's like, okay, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We have to have, we have to have benevolent master magicians out there helping us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And when we do, everything's going to go faster and faster and faster and faster. And the dark Lords are going to go down faster and faster. Yep. Cause they've used magic to corrupt physical reality. So we can use magic to correct physical reality exactly um now the thing like one thing that always bothers me when people talk about like the secret right the secret manifestation <laughs> is they'll do all these mantras they'll do all these affirmations but then they don't take the physical action to make it happen both need to be in place and you know and different people have different goals and um missions uh for example we do a lot of the magic aspect. We do a lot of the soul and spiritual aspect, getting that aligned. And then we have particular friends that they put it into physical action. We help to clear the road for them so that way it's easier for them to create the, the change. That's to manifest it. To right. manifest it. In the, on the um, physical plane. It's yeah. like we're doing a lot of our work is like behind the scenes. And so, mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's great for us. Yeah. It um, is. Yeah. So, you know, that's why magic is so demonized, though, by religion and by the current structures is because religions it's... Religions that do it. And the religions that do it. That, Which that's is all of, them, all, that, of that's all of them. All of them. Do you know a religion that doesn't do magic? I cannot think of a single one. It doesn't matter either. if it's Roman Catholic. It doesn't matter if it's Buddhist. It doesn't matter if it's Hindu, Islamic. It doesn't matter if it's you know mormon. mormon any kind of christian mm -hmm. it, it really doesn't matter there's not a single they religion that doesn't do, do it, it. Mm -hmm. so if they demonize it they're demonizing themselves mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. they're doing it mm -hmm. all the time and what's funny is most of them are doing the corrupted magic exactly. most of them are building exactly. up this energy from other people for their own gain instead of to benefit all life to benefit benevolent beings or um, or stealing it or or it's almost like they they have this magnet you know it's mm -hmm. like give mm -hmm. me your give me your energy and your the money. tithe bowl the yeah. tithe bowl you know yes. as it's going around yes. it's not only collecting the money money is another form of energy so not only is it collecting their money it's collecting their time their energy their influence it's and their devotion and their devotion and their devotion um i was talking with someone recently uh, on that topic any deity that requires or allows devotion or worship gives me red flags. Me too. There's not a single one out there. You know, uh, the, the people that we work with, you know, the genie, cryon, you know, 
uh, all of our spy allies, versus spy birdies, spy versus spy they don't ask for worship. And if you try to worship them, they will kick you yeah. down. They'll be like, no, we don't accept that. But if you give them love and warm fuzzies exactly. and appreciation, just, just like that. any yeah. friend, yeah. just like any friend, you know, if someone yeah. makes you a pie, you don't just take it. You say, oh, thank you. This is so sweet. You know, yeah. this is, I love this yeah. kind of pie. Yeah. You know, I'm going to enjoy this exactly. so much. And I'm not sharing it. It's my <laughs> 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 oh maybe i'll give you a little piece i'll, I'll give you a, i'll give you a little piece but this is my pie um <laughs> thank you very much but thank you thank you i appreciate it um but but they appreciate that you know they just like anyone else they do appreciate to be acknowledged but they will not accept being worshipped or prayed to that if, and, if you want to turn them off and get them running the other way you say mm-hmm. you start trying to worship them and they'll mm-hmm. just go ah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they'll still show around when you need their help, yeah, but they'll but, be gone any other time. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to hang out with you because you're creepy to them. <laughs> mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. they find that creepy. They do. They do. It's uncomforting. It's uh, like benevolent people mm-hmm. find that kind of devotion creepy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, now there's, there's when they have a certain level of understanding. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now it's different than camaraderie. It's like, okay, let, let's do this together. That's different. Mm-hmm. And, and and knowing that you can depend on someone mm-hmm. is different than this oh mm-hmm. great one oh. and a lot of them are like no you have power too if you give me all your power it doesn't serve yeah. you yeah it doesn't serve you and it makes their job more difficult it gives them more responsibilities who wants exactly. that you know exactly. um and that's one of the things i do like about the rocks and the eggs too is that they'll help you to uh you know i think this is also another good time to talk about unplugging you know, this will give you the opportunity to clear yourself and get neutral so you can really tap into that authentic inner magic. And um, unplugging is extremely important. That's also been showing up on our radar a yes, ton. Yes, a lot, because um, everybody's going through so much crap right now. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of different ways to unplug, you know, taking a salt bath, uh, you know, having the eggs clear and neutralize any of the toxins and weird shit going on around you. Um, you know, holding onto the rocks and breathing with them and asking them to help you to get into the neutral space. And doing, doing sides. Egg. Yep. Yep. The sickle egg really mm-hmm. helps because it, mm-hmm. it goes around this way and that goes around this way mm-hmm. and it just cleans off all of the, the, the attachments ties and the attachments mm-hmm. the that cords. people, and mm-hmm. even people that you love, um, Every once in a while, you just got to unplug mm-hmm. from it because it's draining mm-hmm. your battery. And when your battery gets drained, you can't help mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. So you got to unplug from everything, build mm-hmm. up your battery, and then mm-hmm. you can plug back. Let certain ones come in. Not everybody bombarding mm-hmm. you again, but you're just like, okay, you can come in. Mm-hmm. I'll let you. Okay, I've got a little more energy. Okay, I'll let you come in. So, so it's a conscious setup. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, that's, you know, I had one friend that she said, there's a difference between a cord C O R D versus a cord C H O R D. Is it something that brings more music and life back into Mm -hmm. you? Or is it something that's draining you? Um, And, you know, either way, it doesn't really matter. You need to have time where you're just yourself. You need to have time where you really unplug from everything. And then you can use those heart chords, those heart musics, those, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, to build you back up. To build you back up. There, there is a difference between that and, you know, uh, and, you know, whenever you do energy work or you help someone, it's always important to do the cord cutting again and to do, you know, to do yes, the unplugging again. clean off when you mm-hmm. get done because mm-hmm. you don't want to be dragging that crap around um, mm-hmm. in your life. Mm-hmm. So for you healers mm-hmm. out there, um, whenever you work with somebody, when you get down, maybe do a sickle aid and, and just, you know, and... and when, when people are trying to plug into you, like, okay, not right now. And you, you plug them back into mm-hmm. their, their self and their own summa. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think that does actually tie in perfectly with the whole worship and prayer thing we were just talking about. Because if you're worshiping someone, you're putting those chords in and you're just like, here's my energy. Oh, you yeah. You are mightier than me. You know, do it for me. When, you know, you have the capability, you know, if you're a soul being, and if you're watching this, you're most likely yeah. a soul being. If you are a soul being, you have this immense power and ability. Don't demeanor yourself. And don't demeanor yourself by giving it away to someone else. It, do, it, it's, it doesn't help you and it doesn't help them. 
Um, well, if, if they're assholes, it helps them be more a bigger asshole. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, like you said earlier, there's a difference between knowing when you need help and asking for it versus just, you know. Clinging. Clinging, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and this is important for everyone. You know, this yeah. is important for everyone. Um, now, one thing that I also really want to talk about here uh, was Omni Magic. You know, now we have this original version of magic for in the hologram, but Omni Magic is not from this hologram and it only operates in purity. It's like the ultimate life force energy. Um, and there was a video that we tried to do a while back that we ended up taking <laughs> out because there was too much weird shit going on. <laughs> yeah, and there was just too much going on. We both felt uncomfortable with it. But that, in that video, we talked about Omni Magic. Of course, that's the video that got that, got that we got hardest mm -hmm. hit. Um, so we do need to make sure that people know what Omni Magic is. So, so Omni Magic mm -hmm. um, is from outside the hologram, um, and it's it's the authentic, benevolent. It, it's like high, 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 high levels of purity, uncorruptible, uncorruptible. Yeah, uncorruptible. And so when, when you desire to connect to that, you have to qualify first. Mm -hmm. If you don't qualify, you don't get it. And what I've noticed too with Omni Magic is even if you don't qualify, if you have the honest will and the honest desire to change, then Omni Magic can help you change. So you can exactly. be uh, exactly. ready for it. Yeah. Um, if you know you've got a to-do list of things that you got to do to get your crap together mm -hmm. and and you can ask for omni magic to help you but you mm -hmm. cannot you can't schmooze it you can't schmooze, you can't it, schmooze and it. you can't say i want to do you know i want to do this and this and this it, it's mm -hmm. like my intent is to fix these mm -hmm. things can you please help me and mm -hmm. omni magic will maybe send people into your life mm -hmm. um maybe you'll or they might something. send some rocks your way maybe you know they, they might you know <laughs> they might help you to get onto Laura Lee's website and order some rocks for yourself because to get you on the right path and mm -hmm. you know speaking of the rocks mm -hmm. these rocks have been and the egg have been so blackballed i don't know if we've talked about this but I don't um, think we oh have. Oh my gosh! Like our ghost book, like ghost well, we kind of did, but but ghost yeah, ghost books yeah. should mm -hmm. be selling like hotcakes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think we've sold three this year, and it's near and the like end of the year. Last year, and it's near the end like of the year. Eight. Mm -hmm. That that was a that. Mm -hmm. And they, there now, was... does that three include the one that I bought? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> and it's like, when we get on all these shows, and like, nobody cares. And they're and big shows. They're we big on shows. Art Bell, mm -hmm. and nobody cares. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, uh, oh, oh, when we were on Art Bell, we got, we got black balls so bad that we were supposed to be on for a half hour or 45 minutes, and we got eight. Minutes. eight minutes eight, mm -hmm. if that um but that was also the video that you guys found the genies right or the gin oh and... no no that was that, that oh that was, was that was a different one oh, okay. no this okay. has been like 12 years ago or 13 years mm -hmm. it's been a while okay. okay yeah yeah so these rocks have definitely been blackballed um i have seen tons of websites online well not tons but maybe like two or three where they're like oh no almora sites are not real they're just some sort of <laughs> metallic like hematite you know yeah. well they um, haven't they haven't gotten any, so they don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yeah. and to them, they, they can they can stay there and, and think that I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for yeah. people who have the heart desire to connect with them and mm -hmm. let them help you. They're not rocks that you buy and leave on a shelf somewhere. No, 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 no. These oh, are rocks that you buy and that. work with. They, okay, and, and collaborate with, and mm -hmm. they can help you and. Mm -hmm. Like I've said before, they've literally saved my life. I, mm -hmm. I would be pushing up daisies now if I weren't for these rocks. Mm -hmm. And the same with the egg. Now, we the, we felt like the uh, the ghost book got black bulb because of the egg mm -hmm. and how the egg can take spirits where they really need to go mm -hmm. instead of the lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where mm -hmm. they get... Re, re, reincarnated, reincarnated right away right mm -hmm. away yeah no mm -hmm. it it gets through mm -hmm. that it was like when when we ghost busted the 
World Trade Center. Yes. And the only way to get the ghost out of there was with cryogenetics. I, I didn't even know that I could do that back then. I just like automatically put him in an egg and the egg got through the this net. They weren't able to get through before. Mm -hmm. So this, these eggs are mega magic, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's Authentic, why- Authentic, so, uncorrupted, uncorruptible uh, exactly. magic. <laughs> Just and saying. And that's why it's such a <laughs> big threat to the Dark Lords mm -hmm. and the, the top, the top, top, top mm -hmm. level Dark Lords. They are scared. And mm -hmm. that's why we had people watching us last night. Because we had they, over they got, 217 people, 220 ish people that were watching us. That I could literally feel them standing behind me and could, could hear them walking around in the bushes. And, and they had yeah. just gotten the memo about mm -hmm. the rocks and the eggs. Mm -hmm. and, and they're like, well, we can't have any of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there is more of that story to come. You know, yeah, yeah, we will definitely, that, that is definitely story, some weird that, shit on steroids. Story, yeah. So once we get the information that we need and it's time to share it, we'll, we'll you know, we'll try to remember <laughs> to share that one. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, if you, if you hang out with either of us, you will see that weird shit happens all day, every day. You know, we're constantly un- rigging the rig game it's, we're yeah, constantly we doing work to help people to unrig the system within themselves so that way they can also help other know. people unrig the system mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so this 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 magic copy it down we'll put it in the description and yep. share it with people so they understand mm -hmm. what it is and what it isn't and i do the editing for the videos right now and if i can I will put this on, on the video. On the you will video. see it so on, will see in it. multiple spots yeah. even. Um, but we'll yeah, see it, if I can gonna... figure that out. So and I was <laughs> so... just thinking, this is a great... We just... It's a good learning experience for me. It's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just barely... We were sitting here. The topic that we were going to do, um, it... It disappeared this morning. My my computer mm -hmm. restarted and literally, uh, I, I'm like, literally wiped it. And it wasn't um, supposed to, and because um, it just did it like three days ago. And I'm like, well, shoot. Now what are we going to talk about? So we just sat here and was like, well, yeah, we can talk about magic. So I ran and got got my copy of this, and I think it's very fitting because Halloween is coming up. Halloween, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a and what a good Halloween yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, um, in the books as well, there's definitions for the word witch and pagan and heathen. You know, it's not what you're really taught. If you no. actually look at the dictionary definitions for these words, it is different than what you're taught. It it's literally really is. Different. And if you look at it's the really history different. of where the words come from, you know, uh, yes, there are bad witches out there. There oh, are yeah. people who oh, yeah. learn this information and use it to hurt other people. That is, from what I've understood, that is where the term warlock came from. It was from the people who took the initiations and took the oaths to use magic, to learn about magic and use it for the benefit of others, and then got corrupted by the power of it and now only use it for themselves. I believe that is where the term warlock comes from. It, it does mean oath breaker, and I've yes, read that in multiple... Yes, it does. And people think that a warlock is a male witch. It's, it's not. not. It, it's a, not. A, a male witch is a male witch. Yeah. There's a yeah, female still witch, just a witch and a male mm -hmm. witch. It's just a witch. And it is different than wizards. It is different than, you know, these, these, these different terms do have uh, cultural and historical yeah. differences. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but really, the word witch, the original term means someone who knows how to heal the mm -hmm. uh the term wick like for wicca mm -hmm. comes from the latin term which is like the same as a wick on a candle it sheds light it brings light it brings healing and warmth um that is the true definition of someone who is a witch it's someone who learns the herbs learns how to communicate with spirit learns how to um learns how to use magic to help others that is the you know that that's a more truer Right, and um, somebody that that works with the the earth spirits and the mm -hmm. the herbs and mm -hmm. and and the rocks. And the rocks. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I think this was a really a really fitting um, topic today, mm -hmm. um, where we didn't even know we were going to talk about. Yeah, we magic. didn't. We, we, we were did sitting not. here setting up, and then we just flatlined. Oh, like, like, what are we going to talk about? Yeah, this flatlining. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and what's funny is we were like, oh, we'll talk about magic. It'll be a quick, you know, yeah, it'll, it'll be like a 15 yeah. minute video. Yeah. We're like 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, not too quick. <laughs> yeah, not too quick, but a lot of fun. Now, uh, if you guys do have any questions on this, please let us know. Um, because this is a big topic and we really want to make sure that people understand, you know, magic can be safe. Magic is honestly your birthright and learning how to do it correctly is really what most of us are here to do. Um, if you're watching this, if you're probably... watching this, yeah, it's probably you. Um, now, yes, like, okay, so years ago, years ago, when I first started getting into Wicca and magic, I met this old couple and they had this saying, it's like, if you have a screwdriver, you can use it to either stab someone in the eye or fix a door. Mm -hmm. it's not the tools issue it's the person who's using the tool and exactly. i feel like that's very appropriate with exactly. magic too because mm -hmm. you can use magic to create a fire you know to keep people warm or to cook food or you know to sustain life or you can create mm -hmm. fire to destroy buildings you know mm -hmm. do it to the churches oh wait the microphone's <laughs> in here. do it to the church <laughs> sorry wait no, no no that's arson i take that back i take that back that was just for the humor that was just for the humor that was um, good humor <laughs> There are some appropriate fires is that what you're saying and there are there are you know fire can be very purifying and when you're using the scrc you're using the alchemical power of fire, fire to, to yeah, change yeah, so, outcomes yeah, so, yeah, yeah yeah now one thing i do like to add with this topic is uh to give an example as to the myriad of uses that you can use for magic right if you look at symbology if you look at a simple circle that simple circle can mean a hundred thousand things. Oh yeah. It can be used a oh, hundred thousand yeah. ways, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in short, it can be used to keep someone, you know, from trapped. to keep them trapped or it can use them, use it to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. It can also be used to mean including and bringing people in. Mm -hmm. It can also be used to exclude or to keep things out. Um, Very that good. one Very simple good. symbol can be used a million different ways. And it's the same with magic, you know, um, and that's why, you know, that's why it is so important to use the rocks and the eggs and to learn how to reach into your authentic, uncorruptible purity when you're using magic. Because um, it can be used for ill, you know. It, it, it takes knowledge. It takes practice. It, it really takes the desire to change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, magic, what, when people start learning how to use magic, a lot of them have a lot of inner work to do. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's important yes. to realize that and to work with that because you really don't want your magic being run by ego. You really don't. You want it to be run by your entire system, by your heart, by your head. You know, you want it to be in balance and harmony. With, and you don't yeah. want your magic to be collaborated with by the dark lord exactly like, oh, exactly there's a guy that doesn't really know what he's doing he's full of ego mm -hmm. so we'll just let him do his thing and then we'll start we'll just plant some words yeah. into his ear and make him think oh no this is good yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, um, or i'm doing this when really the dark lords are are mm -hmm. you know giving it a little boost a little there. extra boost yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. If we give this person this much loose to create this magic, yes. they will bring back that and yes. more with yes. interest. Will, just like the banking system. Just like the banking system. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. So, oh my gosh. yeah, long story short, magic, you know, original, authentic magic and omni magic, they're important. It, they're if very you think of, of, of the definition, I'll read it again. The mm -hmm. ability to create and make the outcomes you desire. Mm -hmm. that, that just says it all. You know, people do that when they cook. They do. They do. They do. You have a certain <laughs> recipe in mind. You're wanting to create this certain dish. Mm -hmm. So you're going to bring together these herbs. You're going to bring together, you know, these the ingredients. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to mix them the proper way. That's right. And, you to know, like if you're trying to make you sourdough, design. you have to be very, very careful with it. And, yep. you know, you have to have the right weather and the right, you know, <laughs> <laughs> has to be the right day of the week, right? The right moon phase, right? Oh um, which, speaking of weather, if you're wondering why we're over we're here, we're, you know, it's, <laughs> it's getting, raining right now. Yeah. It's kind of a cold day. So we're, you know. So the next one won't be as rainy. We'll probably do one next week, too. But we're going to mm -hmm. try to get this out before Halloween. Yes. It's very appropriate. Yes. So with that, everybody, and there, I have not seen one 
squirrel or chipmunk have you well no but there's a this? big bird over there oh okay i don't know what kind of bird that is honestly to be distracted by me <laughs> is that a crane where at I'm over over it. by your shed over underneath that tree uh, oh, or no really? that's a turkey I think oh it's, it's a, a turkey. turkey it's just a very <laughs> slim very majestic turkey okay um, and i did see quail earlier okay i, I just didn't say okay, anything because no, i was already distracted well, okay yeah 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 okay. yeah just wondering okay everybody thank you for stopping by yes. and go get your magic on and have a magical rest of your day yes <laughs> okay bye-bye